Good morning, my lovely ones. How are you, loves? I hope everyone is well. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Daily messages for each zodiac sign in here. February 11th. Let's love what comes up for each and every one, and where we go. Again, the timelines are in the description box. And we're starting with Aries. Welcome, loves. Let's see. Three cards energy for the day for you. We have a hangman right here. And this deck is the hang one. A chariot and a three of wands. Look at here, two major arcanas right out of that. So Aries, seems here that a period of stuckness, a period when you felt quite not where you need to be or where you belong, it's over. You are moving towards a goal. There's a lot of movement coming in probably next three days or next three weeks. And for those of you who plan a trip or you couldn't make a trip prior or before or a few months ago or a few years even, now you got to start to go forward. And I feel here this is quite a green light. For those of you who did manifest certain things, be aware, loves, because those manifestations are about to come to reality. So enjoy, loves. Enjoy Aries for this move and go forward. And we are moving into Taurus. Welcome, loves. February 11th, three card energy for each and every one. The first card we have the Temperance. The next one we have Nine of Cups. And look at you, Taurus. What? You, you now realize that many, many times it's better to not rush. It's better to go with the flow. And the best of the best, to trust your guides. And that all for getting your wish fulfilled. For some of you, you are getting a new job or you getting something here you really wanted for a long time. Here is loves. Just grab it. Also, I feel here there's a Taurus. If you really want... A specific person into your life to come it is here or is about to enter your life as well for those of you who did apply for a new job you get responses or you want to do something on your own I feel here you got it it's kind of like you hit it and you hit it hard like a million bucks. Good job, loves. I feel here you know with the temperance quite balanced and you you knew kind of like when I will get balance, I will get what I really want for myself. It's a win-win energy here for many, many Tauruses. So whatever it's there, I congratulate you from now on. Gemini, welcome to your daily three cards energy. February 11th. The first card for you, we have the Ten of Cups. The next one, we do have the Wheel of Fortune and Seven of Cups. Seems too good to be true, whatever you are moving forward. For some of you, you, you now... With the Wheel of Fortune, this is destined to go forward. Whatsoever, you are not quite sure. Is this the right way or the right path? Absolutely. Don't be confused. A lot of blessings are about to come to you, about to shower you. All what you need is 
to embrace and allow. Good, good energy here, loves. For some Gemini, you did have a good time here with someone in particular. Could be a Sagittarius, doesn't need to be, or a water sign. And now you don't really know. Are we lovers? Are we together or we are not? Trust the divine guidance loves. Because always, always you get the answers in the timely matter. And my beloved Cancerians, I welcome you for this day. Let's love. The first card for you, Five of Wands, the next one, Empress, and Queen of Swords. So, Cancerian, it shows me up here that you might tell today to someone something, and they may not be at the same page with you. Make sure whatever you are going to say, whom you're going to say, say it in a kind way. Because someone here takes the way you say or takes your honesty as being rude. You know, Queen of Swords speaks the truth and feels like quite very much like, you know, I got this because I have that privilege. Someone here doesn't really appreciate that. Also, for many of you Cancerians, there is a, some sort of conflict here coming up because someone here feels entitled to come forward with some allegations. Know yourself and whatever is there, whatever comes to you, get ready. As well, Whatever conflict here comes and could be, you know, legal um, legal conflict or anything, make sure you have all the paperwork in order. So later you not have any regrets. I feel here there's something here coming to you which doesn't seem quite right to you or doesn't make any sense. Kind of feel like, oh, why they give this if I've done everything right? You never know others, you know, ways of doing certain things. Because for on your on your side it might be, you know, not a big deal. Or on your side it's like that's how it is. On other person might not. Or other people. Leo, it's time for you, my loves, and welcome. Let's see, what do we got for you? The first card for you, we have three of wands. The next one, we have five of cups and the world. Yes, I feel here that something here, a Leo, needs to understand. You can't turn up the past back to be present. The past is there where it needs to be. And now is a new chapter you are emerging to. Allow this chapter. Don't look for whatever was just because you had certain expectations or that you have, you know, that assumptions of something. Let it go, loves. And just kind of like move forward. Because whatever it is didn't really fulfill you. But to give you this, there's something which comes to you quite quickly. And it could be as we speak today or by, even by, by the, it's like as we speak today, by the 20th or by the 19th of February. So stick with that because I feel here you will know when it's coming. Let it go. Leave those regrets where they need to be 
and now whatever it's ending has a reason find that reason and Virgo that's your time let's see my loves what do we have for you let's pick a deck for you and let's go the first card for my Virgos we have King of Swords the next one we have Four of Cups and Five of Pentacles Virgo, where you are at right now it's kind of you you are quite clear for what worked what didn't work what was good for you what was not good also whatever things have been in the past and whatever you want to go forward it's like you are sorting out certain things at this time you do see the opportunity and probably ready for it for some of you there is some baggage you you leave behind but you feel like that shit hurts sorry for saying but it's kind of you know i don't know why i do see that texas you know those texanians or even the the mexico with with those big hats around the head feels like hey let this shit go kind of like that 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 voice you know those that, those who sing the country music kind of a thing that's that's basically what i see and sometimes you know it doesn't really make sense i might read for someone from there i might read for someone who just feel like you know it is what it is the past is there leave it let's sort it out learn the lesson from the past get what is good from there and one step at a time whatsoever having that king of swords over there is kind of quite clear for what was and what you want to have libra it's your time welcome loves and let's see for my Libras, the three cards energy for February 11th, we have Ace of Wands, we have Lovers, and Moon. All right, loves. There's something here you, you got to do today. Could be a choice, could be a thing, but you, you don't want to make the bad choice feels like you f it's kind of feels that whatever it is it's for the short term and that's why you are not quite sure for some of you libras you could have a few nights with someone I do see here Gemini and I do see here water energy or someone who has their moon in Gemini and right now you you might feel in the dark you might not know where you're standing with this connection I feel here I'm speaking here with a Libra who've been intimate with someone but now doesn't really know what to believe regards that person so loves, before going somewhere or with whomever, you know, as you are mature enough, think of a little bit ahead. And not speaking judgment because we all have different priorities in lives. We all have different, you know, things to look at. So it is what it is. Scorpio, moving forward with your energy. What do we have for you as we speak today? 
a four of pentacles, a nine of swords, and the world. There's something here you holding back to go forward with. Whatsoever it's constantly into your mind. Could be some travel or could be an ending of a situation. But hesitance is either you are not quite sure if you make the right thing, either financial situation. Give yourself time and know that you have ahead answers. And some of you, you might have your answers already. Don't overthink. I feel here this is some kind of anxious energy you are dealing with. And, you know, sometimes just going with the flow is the way to go. Sagittarius, welcome my loves. Sagis, Sagis, Sagis. Time for you. And picking up your deck. What do we have for you, loves? The first card. Goodness, so we have a devil here. We have a five of cups. And we have death. All right, Sagis. A little encouragement for you. You are stronger than you think you are. And I feel here, I'm speaking here with the Sag who ended a karmic connection with someone who made them very small, may feel them very small. Could be a Capricorn, could be a Scorpio or a water sign. You know, the death very much speaks that's over. Let it go. For some of you, there is a situation here who drain you emotionally. It's over. I can, you know, have that trumpet, which is saying like, it's over. Don't overthink it. Just let it go, loves. Because, yes, it's hard to let it go, but you are going through a big, big transformation. If it was a job felt very heavy on you, a lot of, you know, chores to do, but very little fulfillment. If it was a person out there, a lot of craziness got, happened, but that's over. So the good part is you are moving into something new. And as well, death speaks about transformation. A brand new energy is about to emerge. And as you see here, you're looking for whatever was toxic, but you, you might not see this two of cups right here, which speaks about the new. So don't look too much of what was. Get the lesson. Get the good parts, always. And apply in the new one. The death very much also speaks that a renewal into your life. So for some of you also, for those of you, you know, I'm not going to diagnose anyone. But I feel here there is a Sag here who did struggle, you know, health-wise. So you loves now changing. There's a big major change here happening for a Sagittarius. And look at here underneath. If it was health wise, you beat that up. If it was a connection, toxic, you win that up. If it was a love job, I feel here you out from it. So you are transforming into a beautiful energy. Goodness, Sag. My lovely Sages. Capricorns, that's your time now. Let's see. What do we have for you? Four of Swords, Lovers, and Ten of Cups. You know that you you probably have a decision to make, Capricorns. And taking a few days 
to make that decision, it's quite beneficial because I feel here you will make a great decision. Don't be hesitant that you are not going to go forward to something good because for some of you, there's a decision regards your twin flame or something here which will bring you a lot of happiness. So for those of you who need to make decisions for days, could be four hours, make that decision. You can do it. Aquarius, welcome loves in the house. Let's see. Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, and Two of Cups. Aquarius, I feel here there is on the way to you a person. Yes, they're coming in slow, and we don't like that. Slow, it's kind of, you know, boring or ugh. But it seems here whoever is on the way to you, in their mind, is for this connection to be stability, to be love, to be support, and all the package. And also there is an Aquarius here who does move towards something new, which will bring them a lot of satisfaction and a lot of progress, a lot of growth. And even we don't like many times slow movement, you know, slow and steady wins the race. Go get it, loves. If you are dealing here with an earth sign or you are about to meet an earth sign or someone who does have earth in the chart, know that person is a, is a person to keep around you and not someone to let it go. You might start being friends with them or you might meet them through your friends or the friends or a family party or something like that. And Pisces, welcome. February 11th for you. Ooh. What do we have here? The first card we have the Emperor. Here you are. Three of Pentacles and Four of Pentacles. Don't put your ego up, but instead to do so, put the work up. Because I feel here there's a situation here who could work beautifully for many, many of you, but being hesitant because of the ego might lead you into a loss. So yes, my way or the highway doesn't work in here. It's more likely work together with the things instead of them. For some of you, you Pisces dealing here with someone who is very much in a ego temperament or I know better. It's it's kind of a waste of the time. Three of Pentacles and Four of Pentacles make, makes the Seven of Pentacles. It's kind of like you you drag the situation here to be in delay will take more time. So putting effort, you will shorten your time. Or if, if it's a situation here that you are involved, it's better to put the time, it's better to cooperate than not. Because otherwise, if you, let's say, for example, if you are dealing with a court order or some legal stuff, it's better to work it on with them Instead to be, you know, oh, you know, let's delay this for next year or for the other year. So don't waste the time. Time matters. And when we feel like we have all the time in the world, we may not. As well here, for some of you, you might deal here with a boss kind of a thing. So no. It's not quite an easy thing to deal with, but do not hesitate. I feel here that things will move forward if there will be cooperation. And that being said, I love you all, all of you who come in here. And I will see you tomorrow. Namaste.